Yo guys, what's going on? Jackson here from Rune TCG, and today um, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys um, about my video schedule, and I want to show you some more cards. So, before we get into it though, make sure to subscribe, and if you want to support me even more than just subscribing, which you should already be doing, uh, you can get yourself a pack of Rune TCG. It's on the Game Crafter, and it's really cool. You should definitely check it out. And also join the Discord. It's in the description. Both links are in the description. So, guys, as you know, um, I didn't upload any videos this week, which is crazy, because normally I upload a video every single day during the weekday, and that just could be game like too much for me. As like. I finished set two. I have to show you, I'm showing you guys the rest of set two today. But then, like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do as, um, as like, it's just, I don't, I don't really want to set, start set three. I want to have a bit of a break. Just kind of like explore my, just stuff in set one and two. So I wanted to kind of like slow down. So, I don't know, it's just tough. So, I decided uh, you guys should help me figure out what I should do for my upload schedule. I want to do videos every... I, 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 don't, I, I don't think I can do daily uploads. But I think I can do, like, two videos a week. So, um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think I should do. There'll definitely be longer videos that won't be as short as my videos have been but um yeah enough rambling guys sorry about that but let's get into the cards so the first card i want to show to you guys today is a spell it's called cask magis it's a uh, kind of a card playing off of cask magi in set one and yeah it's a pretty good card it says um spell and it says count your cards in your hand and then shuffle your cards and into the decks that they came from, then draw an equal amount of cards. Basically, it's basically just like a um, way to reset your hand. Like if you have a bad hand, you can play a cast magis, and then you get to draw new cards. So it's a really powerful card, and I definitely think this is going to be one of the competitive like staples. I don't know. I don't really know all that much. I I only play it with like friends and stuff, but I definitely think this is going to be a powerful card when this is released. So yeah. Next we have Training Dummy, a really interesting card. I um I play Pokemon TC like I play Pokemon and this is kind of based off of a card in that TCG. So it says when played, put this card in your active minion slot. When it's killed, your opponent does not gain any points. This may not attack. Basically it just has 65 HP and it just sits there and it lets you set up your cards. And it's just a really powerful card, I think. I'm not really sure though. It could. I definitely think it could be, could be really good in a Warpole deck, you know, with the Warpole Warrior card that sh uh, shuffles into your deck whenever it attacks. You can just put Training Dummy up in front of it, so you can set up and get ready for your crazy Warpole combos. So yeah, definitely really think it's a really fun card. And make sure to tell me in the comments down below which cards you think are cool. Next we have Tortell Egg. This is. It's basically just a spell that says search your deck for two Tortella and minions and put them into your hand. It's a really powerful card searching option if you're running a Tortella deck, which is kind of weird because Tortellons are aren't that all that great. They have one surprise that I'll be showing you guys in a f future video, but they I'm not I don't, I don't know I think they could be really powerful but I also think they could be really weak it's, it really depends on what you guys think of the final card which I won't be showing you today maybe in a week or two though because I, I do got some other stuff I want to show you next I have constrict it's a spell and it says one played your opponent's active minion mana attack on their next turn basically it, you get to stall a turn with constrict and I think this is really powerful especially when you just need one more card to set up your combo and it really helps in set like in like set two's theme of being archetype based and strategy based like cohesively like strategies and stuff like that and it really makes it so um you can actually like 
it really makes it you can have time to set up these strategies that might take a bit longer than in set one. Next, we have Surprise Wormhole. I really like this card. It's a spell. It says, if one of your minions were put in your discard pile in your opponent's last turn, draw three cards. Now, generally, the gold standard for drawing cards is two cards. So being able to draw three is really good. And this works. It's it, it's kind of like the same idea as a card called Demise Blaster. It was a card in set one that did tons of damage as a spell if your opponent killed one of your minions last turn. So, definitely a really good card, and I think this could definitely see play later on. Um, Deserted Wastelands is the next card. It's the I think it's the last environment you guys get to see. Um, yeah, it's really... I think it's a decent card. It says, once per turn, you may discard a card in your hand, and then you may draw a card. Basically, you get to search through your deck, kind of. You don't really get to look. But you still get to kind of like decide what you want in your hand and what you don't want in your hand. So definitely a really powerful card. And we only have one more card to show off this video. So it's Mort Plus. Um, it's a really powerful card, 150 HP. I'm actually, I think I showed you guys this. Crap. Here. Well, I'll just show you all the pluses I have. Tort I have a Tartusi Plus, Mort Plus. And Tranquilent Plus, they're all from set one. I'm pretty, I was pretty sure Morph was the one I haven't showed you guys. Morph is obviously a really weak gimmick card. Now thinking about it more, I did actually show you that. I think it's Tartusi, I haven't, haven't, who I haven't shown yet. But if it hasn't, Tranquilent, I also really like. I don't know. Pluses are an odd mechanic, but I really like them in my trading card game. So yeah. That's going to be it for cards this game, this video. But, um, yeah, uh, I did just get a, um, I did just get a shipment from the Game Crafter, so I'll expect some videos on that in the coming weeks, because I'm really excited to open that stuff, I want to get that all done, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.